everyone. So I'm down here at Atlas Traps. Scott Manspeaker, CEO of Atlas Traps. Scott, um, people are walking in and out all day long. They're asking the questions. What's probably one of those common questions you get asked when they come in? They're probably wanting to know a difference in Atlas and everybody else. Right. The, the, the standard question is typically, what sets you apart from everybody else? Why should we buy your product over Brand X? Well, we're standing here. Show us, man. Show us what sets us sure. apart. So, so this is our, our AT400. We, um, we do a few things different than everybody else, but what we've tried to do is we've tried to make these things as simple as possible and to live outside as long as possible and to throw the most accurate targets we can in the most extreme angles. So we did that by, by the, the way our magazine feeds the targets into the, into the launch plate. And on our launch plate, you can't really see it too well, but we touch the target with four contacts, four points of contact. So we've got the throwing arm, we have our back rail, we have a target finger that trains it, but then we also have a finger that comes down on the top, and that allows us to, to lean the machine all the way over to the right side, and the target cannot jump out. Well, one of the coolest features about an Atlas, I think, is the tool's adjustment. I mean, no tools needed out in the field. You hit the lever loose, and you're leaned over, left or right. Of course, I'm moving it all around. And again, the same thing with your elevation up and down. It's a simple adjustment. You tighten it up, and it's not going anywhere. Scott, this has been like one of the major sellers for Atlas Traps for a long time. And what's these, a lot of people think these handles are plastic, but they're actually not. They're metal. No, they're metal. So you can put some torque on them if you're worried about it coming loose, but it doesn't. Right, no, it doesn't come loose at all, especially with 400 targets. It's a lot of weight, and you put it in an extreme angle. You can't have it come loose during a registered shooting. It's got to be right on. And that we went through a lot of handles when we were making the changes on these machines. These are long enough, long enough to give us the leverage we need. But also, if you don't like it in that position, just put it in, in whatever works Simply for you. Simply ratchets in a position that's easy to get a hold of. Absolutely. Another cool thing about the Atlas is the stainless steel and aluminum. Talk about that and why you guys decide to go with that versus the standard zinc coated steel. Sure. So I'll I'll lean this back over and down a little bit so we can see it. So the critical components that you that you can't have fail, and I'll start with the knives, they're 304 stainless. Our launch plate, unlike most, is 304 slick stainless. So once you get pitch buildup on the on the launch plate, you can you can always clean it off. It'll be perfect. It doesn't rust. It doesn't pit. It doesn't do any of that. And you see a lot of that kind of with the bios as well. Sure, absolutely. But also where the target drops down, we've got a really thin. It's a 24 gauge stainless steel. It's a 304 stainless plate that it lands on, and our launch plate underneath it's cut out, so it's really gentle on the target. So our throwing arm, which I'll kick this up here and see. This is T6 aircraft grade aluminum. The launch plate's 304, the knives are 304, our target finger is stainless, our spring on the back that feeds the magazine, it's stainless. So these things, we've had to use stainless and, and aluminum in, in areas that we don't ever want to corrode. And then also, you'll see on our motor and gearbox, and even our one-way bearing, we, we cover that so no rain or any water coming in from the top can ever permeate and get through here. And also, Unlike any, everybody else, we cover the gearbox so the UV rays can't can't erode away at the the, uh, the gasket, yeah, yeah, and water could get in. So we've well, taken that away too. One more real quick thing I want to show everybody: check this out. So we've got some high-end clients, and they actually have yachts that they mount traps to. This also works for anybody that's along the coast. But check this out: we have a marine model. This is the AT150 marine model. And Scott, this thing is insane, man. I mean, it's got everything on it is stainless. And what is this coating that's on it? So what we did with the steel, we have a, a special PPG primer that's designed for the marine environment. And then the polyester coating over that is a marine poly. So it, it protects the, the steel like the frame. But even our, our clutch, our one-way bearing, we Cerakote that so it can never rust. And then the main, the, the crankshaft and all the hardware is, is stainless all the way throughout. Any aluminum on the machine is hard anodized, so to protect against the, the corrosive environment. And even even the insides of our handles are all stainless, so it's wow. uh, this, That's this turned out really, really well. Well, you guys can see the quality, and again, American-made product. 
Um, this is why we love having him on board with the Dead Fair Podcast. Scott, thank you very much. Man. Thank you, appreciate sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate it. Thank I know you. you guys have been busy. you got people in here hanging out, people coming in and out all the time. But it was important for us to stop by and see you. So, thank you. Appreciate thanks. It. Everybody, get over, check out atlastraps.com. You can get a hold of me. I'm one of their salesmen. Um, or if nothing else, if you're at the Nationals, you have a chance, come on in, check this out. A lot of cool things to see.